gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. People dying, kill me in the packing house. Even you have to. We are on so your podcast. Thing. Podcast. Podcast. As the scholars once said, <laughs> tag team back again, ladies and gentlemen. It's another edition of Bunny Ears. Uh, I am joined by. <coughs> Mechelaid Chuck Luck Muck Mickey. That guy. And Stu Miller, who actually knows his real name. Stu- Stuart P. Miller. We got a Stu <laughs> appearance, you. and I am, of course, from uh, Columbus, Ohio. From Columbus, Ohio. Look him up on Facebook. Uh, from Granville, Ohio. From Granville. Sure, whatever. Look up the one from Columbus, because I bet there is one. <laughs> and just send him nudes. They really just send, aren't. Send uh, the nudes. And I am, of course, Matt Cohen, and you folks are Warren, and uh, you're lucky enough to be joining us for another edition of Bunny Ears. How are we doing? Bunny Ears. Actually, you're not wearing your bunny ears, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, behind you. Vamp for a second. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. No, no. We'll, we'll cover for you. So anyway, Matt's not wearing his bunny what ears. Your face. Ooh, that was close. Oh, there right. oh, there we go. I, am, I am now wearing we're total he- safe. We're Hello, totally safe. Hello Kitty ish bunny ears. It's all good now. Um, we made the save, bro. For the candor that we like to establish on this show, we should say that this is our first West Coast recording. Indeed. Yep. Yes, it's been a couple weeks, I think, since our last one. Yep. It's been a while. It's, it's been a while. Since we <laughs> talked about conspiracy it's theories. It's been a while. Uh, so we are, we are out in uh, sunny California. Yeah, and it's and, actually, yeah, it's 80 degrees, even though it's freaking And it's everybody hot. here is complaining about how cold it is. They're yeah, like, oh, no, I know. I'm not going outside. It's 80 degrees. It's freezing. I put I'm on like, a winter hat today, and Stu was like, I have shorts on. Is that wrong? I'm like, yeah, it's California. You don't wear shorts unless you're not from here. <laughs> yeah, Apparently, jerk. sign yeah. of a tourist. Yeah, jerk. <laughs> you you might as well have what a map thinking? to the Hollywood stars in your hand. <laughs> Here we are in the heart of Hollywood podcasting. No, guys, we're in the valley somewhere, and uh, we're we're uh, we're doing a. Here uh, we are. Some records. We're it's doing. A, we're it's doing a this. coastal cast. Yeah, look at us. We're we're amazing, guys. And in classic uh, Bunnier's <laughs> tradition, well traveled. We we are well traveled and have no fucking plan. And we like to amongst ourselves. We like to do a lot of hypothetical uh, verse scenarios, as yeah. it yes, were. Yes, that's kind of yeah, yeah. That's, how would you ex- how would you explain what I mean, Mac? Like, uh, uh, well, we're gonna do a verses thing, like so, like something versus something, like a you know an alligator versus a crocodile. Let's just say you easy know, answer, kind of crocodile. And then we debate it. They're bigger. And we go I from don't there. even know the difference. Crocodiles are saltwater. Alligators are freshwater. Really? Alligators can be All both, right. but yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, nerdy Lexi's bookie book. <laughs> <laughs> nerdy Lexi's predators. I was, I was like, uh, alligators are green, crocodiles are gray. Yeah. Nope, nope. So <laughs> crocodile, crocodiles are bigger, and they would fuck up an alligator. Okay. So that's, that's whoa, the kind of whoa, stuff you're whoa, in store whoa, for whoa. today, I don't know folks. about that, bro. <laughs> See, See, that's what I mean. pros and cons. See, there yeah. we go. So it's basically model UN, but with mostly superheroes, probably. Yeah, and, yeah. And we're we're going to figure this out. All right. Uh, 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 hit uh, us uh, with one, man. Yeah, okay. Who would win in a fight? Yep. Um, uh, 20 little people with long pointy sticks. Okay. Or Are the sticks longer than that? Wait, we'll hold our questioning until you finish the scenario. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 five foot long sticks. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, versus uh, a Bengal tiger. Is the floor open for questions? Yes, it is. Yes, because th- then we figure out where it happens okay. and so forth. Uh, so go ahead. Questions. Uh, these 20 little people, are they adults? Yes, they are all adults. That was a uh, good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're 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 all in peak physical form. Okay. Uh, this is happening. Let's say it's, it's happening in this room. Uh, what is it? It's about twelve by twenty. Guys, I hate to be a dick, but like I'm gonna just skip to the end. I'm taking the little people. Yeah, I gotta 20, go with the little people. Twenty. Also. That's a swarm on any animal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think twenty little people can bring down an elephant. Uh, no, with their uh, bare hands. No, I'm pretty sure. How about I, I, you should type in little people versus elephants uh, uh, versus uh, in, it's little people Singapore. Hear me out for a second. <laughs> in my mind, they're, and no offense to anyone, but in my mind, they're building a World War Z style wall of themselves. Well, see, so you didn't ask how long they have swore- to prep oh. either. Do they have a day or a week to prep? I don't think, I don't or do think they, they just show need, up in the same room? I don't think they, room, they, don't think they would time. need prep time. I don't think they need it. I think, honestly, if, if you've got 20 brains working on the on the tiger, the tiger's going down. I would almost argue that two. Like, like, the tiger's got this. Do you think the, down. the three of us <laughs> are tigers going down? If we no, had, no, if we had murderous, sh- murderously sharpened sticks, do you think the three of us are capable of killing a tiger? See, uh, three in a might room be a little this hot, big, harder. Uh, 
even with a week of planning, no. One of us is, by the way, here's <laughs> no. my, in my mind, one of us is taking the taking it for the team. I was about to say, I I, I think uh, I calls too. I think if you and I <laughs> sacrificed Cohen, we already called you though, bro. So All right, actually, that's fine. You know what? No, actually, Cohen is Jewish, so tigers, we're, tigers, we're, tigers we're, hate Jews. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're more it's their natural enemy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lions, tigers, and Jews. Oy vey, <laughs> oy, oy gavolt. <laughs> So I'm going no, with little no. people on this one. I'm definitely oh, going, I'm with going straight people. tiger. No, you guys are you guys are way out of your league on this one. <laughs> no. I think tigers will be like you're overestimating us, and little people will be like, hey, what the fuck? No, no, no. I I'm totally down with little people. I mean, <laughs> just don't get me wrong. I, just I, that soundbite isolated. I, I, I ain't a hater, but you, well, I could say the same thing about you guys. You guys Bengal tiger haters. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know? No, I just think like humans can kill animals. I think humans can kill animals. I think we've been yeah. doing it for generations yeah. and generations. I don't think like if Neanderthals but could seriously, take down a woolly do you mammoth. seriously think if we all had five foot long pointy sticks and we we're in this room and you put a tiger in it, we could we could d- kill absolutely, it. absolutely, no question. Would right I, now, boom, would I go. want a tiger? Yeah, I think if we, yes. if we had I one, I think our survival instincts would kick in. The the, the tiger is paying attention to one of us yes. while someone's the getting other mauled. two are stabbing. Yeah, someone's gonna have a new face at the end of the day, but we're gonna kill a tiger, so no, nope. brag about no, it. You, you have a good are, story. No, nope. yeah. Nope, you nope, 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 nope. And that's where we agree <laughs> to disagree. See, exactly. This is this is the whole versus thing. Folks, Warren, uh, here's a chance for you to contribute <laughs> nope. to this episode. So actually get on the Twitter, hit us up at Bunny Ears Pod, uh, email us bunnyearspod at gmail.com and let us know who you think would win these perspective fights. Yes, like, exactly. Yeah. Perspective, excuse a, yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, even though I'm probably gonna be right every time. I'm just letting don't, you guys know. Hey guys, don't just don't just agree with Matt because he was in Page Master. Okay? Yeah, yeah, right. No, come on. No, no, no. Getting even with Dad. Come don't on, give guys. him. Don't give him the Uncle Buck treatment. Like, let's, let's make this fair. I'm gonna start. Don't you wish kid me, bro? Don't Jurassic Park three him. No one looked that up. And Macaulay Culkin was in Jurassic Park three. We 3-ing. all know he was in Only the Lonely, yeah. but that doesn't wow. matter. This is our new thing. Wow, that was a, that's a good call because I fell. Off, all I did was fall off of a swing. I know movie. you are not going to be a professional gymnast. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. <laughs> you just gave me a funny. I, we don't even need to do it because we know the answer. I was going to say young Macaulay Culkin versus bees, but we know who wins. That one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. That's good. Jeez. <laughs> that, that impresses me. Yes. <laughs> um, let's 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 skip to Dude, a random one, guys. Bees, bro. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Give I'm us gonna, one. Uh, this is a. Let's just do it. I'm going to say Gozer from Ghostbusters mm-hmm, 1, mm-hmm. Gozer the Gozerian, mm-hmm. versus Vigo, Vigo the Carpathian. The Carpathian from Ghostbusters 2. Was that on your list, too? It was close. I actually wanted to go Egon versus Ray. Ooh. I, yeah, because so they, were both the, they were both the really smart Ghostbusters. Ray. They were like the nerdy Ray scientist Ray probably has ones. a haymaker in him. But yeah, yeah. It, but Egon's going to gouge your eyes out. And, 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 <laughs> Egon's doing dark shit. And yeah, then, like, yeah. maybe having sex yeah, with your that, dead body. Exactly. Yeah, for, like, yeah. science, says Egon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, Egon. Don't analyze you know, your for mucus. Science. <laughs> sure, Egon. I, I'm, peeing in you, I'm peeing in your eye hole for go, science. Gozer versus Vigo. Uh, Gozer. Probably, right? But v- Vigo, what was the Vigo rule? Vigo lived in another realm of, like, reality, well, no, right? It was, the, the painting. painting kept him alive. The painting kept him alive. He, Where was he? He was, he was like, four centuries Carpathia. back. Carpathia. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. He, he, he was back in time. He was back in time. Yeah. He lived to be, what, like, 105 or something uh, like that? You're, 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 and you're, he didn't you're, die yes, of old sure. age. He was killed, like, by a stabbing, hanging. He was pretty like, much, he was pretty much, he was uh, Rasputin. Uh, Ivan the, he was Ivan the Terrible, essentially, yeah. is what it was. Like, his backstory was very much like that. Kind of I think thing. it was a mix of but Vlad the Impaler, Ivan the Terrible. But he was he was yeah. more of a mortal. Yeah, you're right. He didn't he didn't have world Whereas, conjuring. Whereas like, like a Gozer, like, Gozer you know, was a god. Gozer, Gozer was a god. Yeah, so you got to give it to Gozer. That's what there. I'm saying. Yeah. And that haircut. Go, go, yeah, go, go, Gozer. <laughs> go, was, I see a lot of Gozers around LA these days. I'll tell you what, look at all these fucking Gozer over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, I mean, like Gozer can manifest a. You know, an Into eighty foot, an 80 fall, man. eighty foot tall, freaking marshmallow person. Or Just into, manifest it. That's that's or actually into, that's or where Gozer is weak. Mm-hmm. That, that? That's where Gozer is weak. Because basically, Gozer takes the form of, of whatever, whatever you, you want. decide. So if you're a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, no, 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 no. Really you, no you're, you're choosing. You're choosing your destruction. Ah, ah that's okay. what it is. It's like, the choose form your, of destruction. your destruction. Yeah, yeah. For but instance, Go- Gozer has a Linda L- Ronstadt haircut. Yeah, <laughs> like I, w- throws lightning I wish out of her I knew fingers. this. I wish I knew this by heart. But it's the form of your destruction. For instance, during the third cycle of the McKetrickant replicant, Gozer came in the form of a giant slur. Yes. <laughs> many, sh- many shoves and zools knew it was to be roasted in the belly of the slur. That day, I, I can, can tell, tell you. you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> See, so yeah, no, so like, yeah, no, Gozer is not exclusive to its form kind of thing. Gotcha. You're gonna, gotcha. gonna get killed plus, no matter what. But all Gozer shoot, takes is crossing also, the streams. As soon as you cross the streams. Also has minions, like. Uh, which is bad. Have you guys, is it, but, 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 but you know, also has minions, like Vince Clortho yeah. and, and Zool. You, you know, know what it reminds me of? Have you seen that Monty Python where they're like, um, I forget, they're like, Terry Parker is a convicted murderer and he's been allowed to choose the matter of his death. Yes. And then it's just a hundred topless women chasing him over a cliff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which which actually leads to my next one, awesome. which was uh, Life of Brian versus Holy Grail. In a fight? It, it would win in a fight. Okay. I'm just going versus. I got you. Uh, I'm going to go with the fight thing. No, see, I'm going with the fight. Fight thing still, and I'm going Python. Uh, Holy Grail. Holy Grail. Because they're knights of the round table. Because they have they swords. Have swords. <laughs> True. But, and but also, like, honestly, but they're also stupid enough to stab themselves to death. Sure, but the other <laughs> ones were poor Jerusalemites. It's true. Because we're doing, life, you said Life of Brian, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I yeah. Said, yeah, and I, I do want to point out the ones who stabbed themselves <laughs> you, you were the people's front of Judea. <laughs> well, let's let's take it. Let's no, take the, the Judean people's, people's front. front. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tossers, Split, no, splitters, splitters. 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 Nope. splitters. Right, they weren't the PFJ. They were the <laughs> <laughs> Reg. Why do you want to carry a baby? <laughs> Where, where is it going to gestate in a shoebox? Especially with the meek. Oh, they have a hell of a time. <laughs> uh, I'm still here's the thing. Here's the reason I'm going Holy Grail, guys. To get back on topic, right? Yeah, yeah. If we take every character combined, so you get the knights in Holy right, Grail, right? But you're also getting and the clumping, uh, not, horses. not with sword, not with horses. You're also getting, <laughs> but you're also getting uh, uh, the knights who say knee, who are like a three-headed True monster. That. Sure. You're getting the rabbit. With the holy, you're getting the the monster rat. Also, yep. the gate, the the bridge keeper. You're getting Tim, the wizard Tim, Tim the enchanter, Tim, yeah. Tim, Tim the enchanter. The enchanter. <laughs> you're getting the black knight who will fight till <laughs> to, yeah, till, till all of his <laughs> legs are bite your bloody knees. You know what off. I mean? <laughs> you get all of the women from Castle Anthrax, including Zoot, I believe. True, 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 yeah. true, true, yep. true, true. Where is and the, the bunny? It's that bunny. It's rabbit. the bunny. The bunny's the the that bunny for rabbit me. is the, and the God. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. He's we God is not in Life of Brian, but he is in Holy Grail. Yeah, that's, there you go. That's, that's actually really he interesting. He appears point. down in the sky, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And Brian, like, it's that rabbit. Okay, you know, in a, in you a, got a, biggest dickus. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> or, or his wife in Continent of Buttocks. <laughs> No, I was actually going to say, you know, I never thought of it that way. I haven't thought of them actually doing a battle. I prefer Life of Brian as a movie, but you're sure, right. I, I think you've too. got, I, yes. I think Holy Grail is in a On real the battle fight. Front, no, honestly, yeah. it, it, uh, it's that rabbit. He's it's just wearing the, rabbit ears. But no, that rabbit could kill anything. Look at right. his teeth. There's the a, fangs. Fangs. He's, right, he's right there, guys. I, yes, have, a, I have a bunch of... I noticed that And before. above it, on the skull, I have like six or seven... Art- <laughs> oh, look at you. You have a lot of Shout out to Gallery wall. 1988 and Jensen Carp. I've got like eight uh, yeah. Holy Grail pieces in this house. This yeah, is yeah, why yeah. you girl, push for bunny girl. ears, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> I'm a big fan. Yeah, way, way, to, way to press it, bro. <laughs> what do we got, Mac? Oh, okay, versus. Let's see. Okay, uh, I want this. Uh, I'll direct this at... at I'm going to direct this at you, okay. Matt Cohen. Stu, you can listen in. Fantastic. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, you from right now yeah. versus you from noon today. <laughs> oh, me right now. Yeah? You think you could take you from noon? Stu, Stu's, Stu's been around me all day. I'm in top form right okay, now. Okay, no, how about this? Same with you, Stu. Same question. I I'm in say, top form. First of all, we both just ate lunch. We did some errands. We're going to do yoga tomorrow. Yeah, like, but we're good daytime people. Matt Cohen at 12 was something to behold. I mean, he right? was majestic. Uh, he was majestic. Oh, uh, like, oiled up. <laughs> lightning beam shooting out of his eyes. I mean, I was like, from the side of his face. <laughs> he was he was an impressive thing to see. So so you're saying, but you're saying. I, I'm, you're, okay. I'm saying that quarter till four, Matt was not taking on noon, Matt. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. Yeah. So noon, I'm going noon with Matt. current Matt. But current Matt does have wisdom that noon Matt didn't have. Also, I, he did take a shot uh, right before this podcast, so he might be a little looser. To loose. be fair, so did noon Matt. <laughs> well, true that, Co- The, Col- the Culkin boy is in town. Yeah, Culkin's in town. Time to take a shot. You know, yeah. That's how we open and close um, every meeting uh, all right. of the Midnight Society. So I say current me is going to, oh, you just gave me the next segue. Current me is going <laughs> to beat old me, but I've got our next one for us. Speaking of Midnight Society, a little A to C. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, let's go. Kid shows, right? Okay. 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 And let's say, uh, let's go. Reptar from Rugrats. You guys familiar with him? Oh uh, yeah, Reptar. Vaguely. Go ahead though. Yeah, it was like a Godzilla like, kind of <laughs> thing. He's Godzilla. It was, it was, okay. was their fan. Like yeah, they was a fan of Reptar. Versus every other character from every other Nicktoons show. Oh, okay. Like the combined forces of Ren and Stimpy and our real monsters and Doug okay, versus you're, you're, Godzilla. You're, you're chucking straight Nicktoons, so like uh, 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 SpongeBob doesn't count. No, let's do. Let's say it's Rugrats, Doug, Hey Arnold, Ren and Ariel Stimps. monsters, Ren and Stimpy, Snick. I gotta give original anything Snick. to Ren and Stimpy. 
I was gonna say. Are they I, killing Godzilla though? Yeah, but the thing is, is with Ren and Stimpy, it doesn't matter what you do to There's, them; they're they, not dying. They'll figure it an absurd <laughs> way to win. I'll I tell think. you who would die: the cast of Dog so quickly first. Dog oh, more yeah. than the oh, yeah, more than the babies from Rugrats. No, yeah. Like yeah. fucking what's your name? Petty mayonnaise or whatever. Like yeah, Chucky yeah. Finster is outliving uh, 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 Roger uh, De- what, who's Roger Clump. Yeah, yeah the, the bad guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think Doug, they got and, nothing. And I like Doug, don't get me wrong, but yeah, no, Patty Mayonnaise goes first, hopefully. I, I'm thinking of the, the Canadian kilted yaksmen, which I think are going to, from, see, from Ren and Stimpy. I think, Ren and, I think Ren and Stimpy I think and they Aubrey, I think somehow they're going to do that. I, think, I feel like they're going to get them to like swallow a log. I think, your yeah. closest, I think your closest competition in that fight is the cast from Ren and Stimpy or Aubrey yes. Monsters. Okay. Because yeah, they're monsters. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yep. Some of them are about, big. Uh, some yeah, of, in Rocco's Modern Life too. You can throw that in there. A little. I mean, I don't, just don't know who on Rocco can I know, face. I know. I'm just. I'm just trying to put. You know, yeah. No. I get it. I get it. Like, you know, I think Reptar. I think it's a scorched earth situation. I think it's like Doctor Manhattan. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah. No. Uh, uh, see. No. I. 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 I probably get to the rest of the Nicktoons because of the Ren and Stimpy. They would come up with an absurdist. Like funny, you think Powdered uh, Toast Man could take down Reptar because he's like a superhero. <laughs> Honestly, maybe you know, like that. That's what I mean. They'll win through absurdity or muddy mud skipper. No, that's what I mean. No, they'll get him to eat like a log with like some nails in it. Sure, and then boom, the end. Like I think it's gonna be that stupid. And the babies simple. will like play a prank. Like imagine they're in some movie where they have to fight. God, they're in like Pacific Rim, but they're exactly. making it out of like cardboard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Angelica's like dumb babies, <laughs> stupid babies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, no, uh, yeah, right. no. I'm, I'm going with the Fair rest enough. of the Nicktoons. You know, in, like I said, in a quick twist, who would win? All of human society or Godzilla? Like, if Godzilla really happened right now, are we killing it? All, all of human society. Uh, Isn't no. he nuke proof? No, we'd win. No, we we'd, we'd, we'd get... definitely win. There's no way he's surviving six billion people. He's not nuke proof. He might be nuke-proof. Then but, what else do we got? Well, he's not procreating. Not nukes. So. <laughs> oh, you're saying on a long enough timeline? On a long enough timeline, he's <laughs> not covering it'll, the it'll, earth, it'll, my it'll friend. Goes to zero. Yeah, no, uh, uh, yeah, Tyler no. Jordan rules apply for Godzilla. <laughs> yes. Like, oh, yes, listen, we have 20 little people with long sticks, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, if they can take down that tiger. <laughs> exactly. If they can take down a tiger, we can do anything. What do you got for a stwart? Uh, I was actually. I this is kind of lame because I I am going to be the first one that goes into superheroes, but I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of wondering Flash versus Quicksilver. Flash, oh, Flash, Flash. All flash. right, well I'll just shut which my big fl- mouth. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Sorry, which Flash? Well, well, which Quicksilver? The one that's for Marvel only, or the one that's for Fox? Okay, I mean, only <laughs> one. Are you, are you talking about cinematic universe no, or in he's the not, comics? He's not. Or, I'm not. I'm just. Oh, no, not. no, no, no. Fla- no which fla- Flash? Flash is faster versus is faster? Peter Max. There's only one Peter. Like yeah, he, he, P- Pietro. Pietro Max. Pietro. Pietro. Excuse me. I was. <laughs> I know. I was confusing yeah, Colossus. Piotr Piotr Rasputin. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, um, there you go. There's only one Quicksilver. Whereas there's like let's see Barry Allen. There's four. There's four or five. Barry Allen, Wally West, Bart Allen, and. And Jay Garrick, Garrick, right? Is uh-huh. old yeah, school. Yeah, is, yeah. Uh, no, I, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't even, I, I'm not even a huge DC guy. Yeah, I even, you know, I was like, I, no, I, I'm, I'm See, proud Warren, of this is what happens when you and try Zoom, to hang with two Zoom comic nerds. <laughs> yeah, Do- Doctor Throne or whatever. Yeah, uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Zoom or um, what were they calling him for a while when he was Death? When he was just the Black Flash. Yeah, uh, uh, I forgot uh, the name for it. Impulse is Bart. Okay, so which one you picking? I, no, I no, mean, Fla- Flash is Flash is Flash I'm convinced Fla- I'll go with Flash. I didn't know the answer myself. Flash can go like the speed of light, yeah. kind of thing. He actually can transcend the speed of light, kind of thing. Okay, you know, he can vibrate so fast, like the cells in his body, like you know, and like the atoms in his body, they can like pass through solid objects. Like, um, no, whereas Quicksilver kind of just like, and actually Quicksilver. Here's a little fun fact: Quicksilver in the comics he, uh, was Magneto's out, son. Was Magneto's yeah. son? Uh, he he ran fast. No, <laughs> but uh, no, was uh, um uh, he actually. Technically, his mutant power is that he manipulates time. It, as he right, moves right, himself right. through time. Yeah. Whereas just fla- he whereas slows the, the time around whereas him. Whereas the like Flash Force is like this magical earthly yeah, 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 yeah. energy field that they tap into and are suddenly the fastest things on mm-hmm, the planet. Mm-hmm. So I think Flash works. It's called the Speed Force. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah, and actually, and, and only that, the color of the lightning around the flash makes a difference. Yeah, absolutely, yellow or red or seriously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, for real, blue yeah. is blue is the fastest. Yeah, this is, I gotta I gotta catch up on my literature. Right, so flash. <laughs> there you go. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, I don't. I, I didn't come up with one. Okay, let's, let's keep see. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 I mean, I'm trying to... the only one who's prepared for this. I'm like yeah, looking yeah, around Stuart, the room. Yeah, I mean, yeah. my next one would would be Ronald McDonald versus Wendy. 
<laughs> why Wendy and not the Burger King? Um, you know why? Because Be- I because because we want to like include women. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Versus men. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, we we we're told. I'm, I'm, I listen. I'm 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 I think all people are equal. Guys, you know? Ronald's got like four feet on Wendy. I I, I, I think I, th- I think five yo girls can fight clowns. I'm I'm down with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And here's my thing. I I think Wendy's tastes better. But I will say that I think Ronald McDonald is a psycho clown. Yeah, no, so he's exactly. probably no, going to go. The clown's, clown's going to win. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, the weird, creepy clown's going to and win. And guess what? He comes with a crew. Wendy doesn't have friends. Ronald's got Grimace. It's he's true. got the no, hamburger. She, she has her father, Dave Thomas. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. <laughs> oh, the ghost of Dave too Thomas. Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win in a fight? The ghost of Dave Thomas. <laughs> he's uh, versus Hitler. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see if I can think of one. Uh, oh, how about uh, okay, uh, Willy Wonka from Charlotte Fac- uh, uh, Chocolate Factory or or, or Charlie the Chocolate Interesting. Factory? Interesting. The Johnny Depp or yeah. the Gene Wilder one? I, I think I have a. I think I would instinctively go Johnny Depp because it's a lot darker of a character. Like if you remember, mm-hmm. right? I only saw that Burton one once, but there's like a horrible backstory where his father like tortures him and is yeah, a yeah, yeah, that whole dentist thing. It's yeah. like a weird sociopath mm-hmm. in this one, whereas the other Willy Wonka's. Just a bored rich guy. Uh, <laughs> he likes to fuck with children. Yeah, but the way he breaks down at the very end was like, "You loser, you loser!" <laughs> like, yeah. like, like when he goes like gnarly. Good day, or also, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> like or also like uh, the stuff on the little fairy. Sure. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. The way he kind of gets a little psycho. Where it's going? Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is there any way of knowing? No, no. Daddy, I do not want a boat like this. <laughs> no, yeah, I, no, I, I go Gene Wilder. Have you guys? Seen, go with Gene Wilder. There also. is. A, there is a, I think um, he's smarter. I, that was the impression yeah. that I got. There was something brilliant about him. Yeah. That was not even his secret brilliance. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a Fox. A I think it was a Fox ADHD sketch, but it's Willy Wonka drunk talking to the Oompa Loompas, and he's like. <laughs> So you're going to build the tunnel, right? And don't forget the freaky horror part of it, where it's just like scary spiders. <laughs> and they're like, wait, the getting his they're head like, bit off. wait, this is a candy factory though, right? He's like, yeah, but we're going to need a skinny fur because it's a scary freaky tunnel. Because you never know. Clearly, like, where are we putting it? They're like, are you sure about this? He's like, yeah, I'm positive. They're like, you're drunk though. He's like, no, we need a scary <laughs> tunnel. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not a chocolate that's a good, factory. That's a, that's a good sketch. I like it. I used to like the, didn't Mr. Burns like, like talk about how much he admired Wonka for like having slave labor and like yes exactly like, <laughs> so guys and I'll never do it because it's copyrighted but for years I've had the idea of a movie called Wonka and it starts off basically um uh it's 40 years later and the Wonka factory has gone under a disrepair no one's been in or out in like 30 years but the smokestacks are still going and no one knows why and all of a sudden and a, Charlie's still there a black panel van pulls up and inside are like a bunch of black ops like military dudes you find out that they got a message from inside the factory Charlie is still alive and they have to go save him. The Oompa Loompas have turned cannibalistic. <laughs> <laughs> and everything you saw in the original movie now becomes a horror set piece. So that river, do you know honestly, what I mean? Honestly, yeah, yeah. We, should, we should just make the trailer for this. I'm down. <laughs> Funnier yeah. die, you listening? Boom. Yeah. Wonka. It was called Wonka, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, no, I see it. I, I, I also I, wanted to make it. Do you remember that? Uh, do you remember Muzzy? Yeah, I, I own Muzzy. Je suis la jeune fille. <laughs> yeah, je, je, yeah, je suis la jeune fille. Yeah. That, that's, that's French they're speaking, but these children aren't French. They're American. Yeah. Muzzy was a child language learning service wow. in the early it was 90s. Wow, commercial like, thing for VHS tapes. Duh. Actually, uh, uh, Gary got me that. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, yeah, Gary Gary and Tam. So I just wanted to do a, ho- a trailer for a horror movie. I have movie it in my Paris place. Where Muzzy is the killer, and, and <laughs> like the, the narrator goes, Bonjour. Yes, and <laughs> je suis la jeune fille. And he goes, these children aren't French. They're dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Bonjour. Muzzy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Read it <laughs> uh, All right. Let's see what we got here. I- I'm going to go Cookie Monster okay. of Sesame Street fame yeah, uh, versus yep. uh, uh, Sully of Monsters, Inc. fame. Mm-hmm. They're similar sized monsters. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, They're mm-hmm. both blue. Have at it, boys. Mm, um, I mean, Cookie Monster does eat cookies. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and if you and if you if you withhold those cookies, I feel like you got like junkie yes, rage like, on yeah, you. Yeah yeah, 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 like savage. Like I need my smack. Yeah, yeah. mama. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. uh, I go Sully just because he does seem bigger and stronger, and like when he wants, like it's not just him and being smarter. scary. Yeah, 
Yeah, he seems smarter too. But also smarter also like because it's like Cookie Monster could be feral. Have you guys ever yeah. heard of the phrase <laughs> mentally handicapped strength? And that's not the phrase for it, but the other word is not cool anymore. <laughs> Whoa, man, that's that's so tarted it went around and retarded itself. <laughs> like I feel like Cookie Monster <laughs> Cookie Monster goes there. Take that cookie out of his hand and like you got a fucking you got a feral beast on your on the loose. Yeah, but possibly throw him as many cookies as he wants and he'll be calm. That's true. Honestly, where, where are you getting honestly, the cookies? True. From, I, from Sully. <laughs> it, all comes, it all comes full circle. No, from Mike Wazowski. He's yeah. cooking them in the back. Yes, exactly. Really, if you're going to get Sully, um, they're a team. Uh, you know, I think Sully can be like, yeah, like crazy aggressive. Like you've seen him like do his like roars yeah. and like that. Uh, he's holding back. You know, I, I, I think he's bigger and stronger. Okay. I, think, I, think, I think he'd pull off his arms. All right, fair enough. You're, yeah. you're agreeing, Stu? Yeah, I'm Sully. with that. Yeah. All right, buddy. What do we got next? Uh, how about uh, 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 George Lucas versus uh, Steven Spielberg? Ooh, prime, Ooh. prime, <laughs> prime, prime, like you know, like wow. uh, 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 early, yeah, like God, late seventies, I... early eighties. Lucas, you know, Steven. neither of the, and I'm not like I've ever been in a fight, but neither of those motherfuckers have ever thrown a punch before. No, 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 no. Yeah. Honestly, this would be like honestly, this, this would be the I most. I wonder if they've most, actually questioned the same <laughs> most special thing. person fight ever. <laughs> like, um. like when they've been work when they worked on Indiana Jones, like in in, in you know the first one in, in Raiders of the Lost. Stark. I wonder if at one point one of them was like, you know, I could totally take you. I hate you, to, okay. <laughs> like, so guys, you know, that's what they did. I hate to be a race trader, but us Jews aren't known for we're lovers, not fighters. Yeah. I, I think I think I might okay. give it to Lucas. He's like I'm a give scrappy it to Lucas. kid from Modesto. Yeah. You hear that, Warren? No. Matt Cohen is selling out his people. Yeah, think, think, <laughs> okay, guys. Again. Or, or, <laughs> or talking about how great they are. I'm, I'm, I'm not no, sure. I, also, I, Jews, I, I, I got us some McCoy Culkin podcast. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, like, exactly. Hello. Come on. Come on. Australia, <laughs> Jews, I didn't, I don't South see Americans. any Goy starting bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I could see I could see George Lucas like straddling uh, uh, Steven Spielberg, slamming his head into the ground. And he's already like he's already dead, and going, <laughs> "Look at me now, Dad! Look at me now, well, and it's Dad!" Also this though, <laughs> Spielberg is the most acclaimed director of all time. People shit on George Lucas and always have. He's got that inside of him. Spielberg yeah. has been living. There's in the world some rage. Of- but you said in the seventies. No, 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 no. I so, said, I said that. Or you said in the seventies. Fine. <laughs> uh, no, that's what I mean. Peak physical form, like you know, like right. No, no, you know, Lucas only has I don't one job, uh, one of, chin. I don't think gonna... either of them were ever at peak physical form. <laughs> <laughs> And they didn't need to be. Picture didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, no, no, honestly, I, I really, I could see George Lucas crying Lucas. Yeah, and saying, and like saying, yep. "Look at me now, Dad." Like you know, for real. Look Spielberg was like ma- ma- married to a bunch of like pretty actresses, and like he's had it. You know, he's kind. Mm-hmm. He's not. He's not the coolest guy ever, but he's he's had a fun life. Lucas just seems like he's had a very isolated, like, mm. I just want to tell my stories. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my, my personal stories. Yeah. Don't you want to hear about... I just want to talk about my general rebellion? <laughs> trade routes. Don't you want to hear about trade routes? Oh, don't you want to hear about parsecs? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you know how many so Bothans go, 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 died? Lucas. You know, you know right. Bothans died during this podcast? You brought up an interesting <laughs> one to me, man. And and it's something we've never seen before. And and it's a it's complete hypothetical because half of this doesn't exist. But I'm going to go <laughs> Gizmo... Okay. Okay. I, I was thinking some gremlin thing versus a hypothetical gremlin gizmo that we've yet to see in the films or anywhere. We've never seen what gizmo would look like as a gremlin. We have only seen him in Mogwai form. But that Mogwai is able to defeat all of the gremlins, uh, but not in hand-to-hand combat. Sure, is Gizmo Mogwai smart enough to outsmart? I think he's smarter. He's clever. Yeah, but is I know what you're is Gremlin about. Gizmo the smartest Gremlin? And there is. Is he smarter than Smart Gremlin? Who's like, yeah. hello? I, I mean, and the city's so nice. They named it twice. The thing, though, he's smart enough to hide. You know what I mean? He's smart enough to get away from them because they are physically stronger, but I wonder, toothier, clawier. I wonder if Giz's intelligence would carry over to him in Gremlin form at all. Okay, listen. If you gave if you gave him twenty four hours to prep. I think he would. Oh win. yeah, he would beat. Uh, he beat that yeah. tiger. But if you just drop them in the middle of this room right now, <laughs> he'd be the tiger. You think he'd be cute, uh, Grem- I wonder if there's ever even been a rendering of what of what Gremlin uh, Gizmo Gremlin would look like. It would look like me, a Gremlin. Let me just ask you something because I'm not sure of the rules here. Would Gizmo turn into a gremlin if he ate after midnight? Was that it? Yes. yes. It was the after midnight. He'd go into cocoon okay, so first. So the, yeah. the water thing, he births more yes. mogwai. He births more mogwais. That are jerks. Yes. The getting them wet. Uh, births uh, more. No, yeah. getting them wet births more. Feeding them turns them into gremlins, mm-hmm. and exposing them to sunlight kills them. Yeah, it. it just hurts a lot. Yeah, and does kill them. Yeah, like the back gremlin. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so the yeah. idea is, you don't want more mogwais to begin with, and if you have more mogwais, you definitely don't want those mogwais to turn into gremlins. No, actually, I not like the back gremlin because the back gremlin had the sun 
production. Oh, you're right. Um, yeah, everybody else couldn't be in sunlight, no, 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 but the no. Bat Gremlin. Oh, the Bat one. Oh got, no, he died. No, no, no. He died because of no, cement. Cause, cause you're right. Cement. You're right. Yeah. He did have the. He did. But he was no, the only one. Still, like, the Boom. sunlight. <laughs> he was still smoking though. He and whatever happened to the electricity Gremlin mm-hmm, or the mm-hmm. vegetable Gremlin <laughs> <laughs> or, or the Gremlin that was Abe Vigoda in a Gremlin suit? You get a Gremlin and you get a Gremlin. Oh, that that Keaton Beale sketch. Love that sketch. Listen, you're talking about putting a vegetable ass Gremlin with just vegetables hanging off the face. You're crazy. You have no idea what you're talking about. It's in the movie. I love it. It's I love it. it. I love it. <laughs> just a gremlin that's like electricity jumping from phone to phone, and it's like a cartoon. You're out of your mind. I don't know how you got in this room. I love it. I love it. It's in the movie. <laughs> Not only is it in the movie. <laughs> um, um, I love gremlins. You guys. Okay, right. how about Stu, this? No. Oh, oh, yeah, about... Stu, turn. Right, Stu, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come up with one, but you guys go ahead. Go All right, ahead. Okay. Okay. Stu. How about, how about the three of us versus Hulk Hogan in his prime? Uh, uh, three of us. Uh, three of us. Ooh, Hulk three. Hogan like roided up, coked out. Yeah, but was he ever? Uh, was he Twenty-four ever? inch pythons. And I hate, I hate to break kayfabe here. Was he, can he shoot to fight? I mean, you know, I mean, can, Has Hulk Hogan can ever you? been in a fist fight? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I can't. No, I, I think Mac. I think this is going to be you and me, buddy. I think. <laughs> Shoot, right, exactly. I would pull his bandana off and emasculate him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Matt's no, already talked about he's a peaceful person, and, and his people the, are I peaceful just, people. I just I don't get know in the them. corner and quietly <laughs> masturbate just to creep him out. <laughs> I don't and think just, he'd be creeped just out. See, <laughs> just see what he would do. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Uh, um, uh, but you know, honestly, when he was like straight up, like roided out, coked out, like just WrestleMania three, like, yeah, no, I, I think, I think it would break all of our necks. I think, honestly, even if we were like, we could probably gouge for eyes, go for the nuts. Okay. But if he literally just like dropped in, like you know, and then you know, yeah, like, I think it's round one. I think it's a fight. Just said, you know, I, I think he'd take us. Yeah. All right. You doesn't think so. I, no, no, no. I'm, he's 6'5", six, <laughs> six, 24-inch pythons. He's, big, he's a big boy. I think, he, yeah, I think he would we, destroy us. Me and Mac hop on his legs and take him down. Like, me and, I, me listen, and Mac I get the fucking leg. upper body? Listen, listen if, yeah, if, 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 if Matt grabs one of his legs, I masturbate in the corner, do you think you could take him? <laughs> I could definitely take down Hulk. In his oh, by the way, you have a knife. We forgot to say this. Oh, oh! No, I still think honestly, you my ass. honestly, if, if, if there was that. Okay, how about this? There is one steak knife between the three of us. Now, do you think we have a chance? <laughs> yes, it's the tiger rules. One of us has to take the sacrifice. But no, but a steak knife. I'm, I'm talking like you know, like. I, you know, I, I was about to say, oh, I eat steak I was about to say dick knife. size, but like you know, I've seen you guys' dicks. <laughs> <laughs> not but, um, not so, 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 you know, a standard steak knife. <laughs> uh, but no, no, uh, it's like steak knife size. Like yeah, like you know, wh- one steak knife for real. Do you, like I don't. Uh, I still give it to Hogan. I yeah, I got to give it to Hogan right. as well. And I fight dirty. Like, I mean, and by dirty, I mean <laughs> masturbating in the corner. <laughs> I don't Whatever know you can do to win, I man. I don't know why. I'm really Whatever st- you can do I'm to really win. St- I'm sticking with my strategy, guys, okay? It's topical, guys. Maybe. We don't know when this too episode's soon. coming out. Yeah. It might be too soon or it might be just soon enough. Yeah, I think, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here's, here's here mine. Uh, I was going to go Jay from Jay and Silent Bob from Clerks. Uh, stoned. Jay from Jay and Silent Bob from Clerks? Yeah, Is well, there anything else he's from? Uh, yeah, he's, he's <laughs> from, oh, Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. Okay, Strikes Strikes back. Back. from yeah, Clerks yeah, specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. specifically that. I'm with you. Stoned versus uh, the Big Lebowski stoned. Jay. The dude. Muse. It's like a fucking scrappy kid from Jersey. Yeah, and he always seems the, the pretty angry. The dude is a pacifist. Yeah, the dude is a pacifist, but he's been in fights before. Remember when Honestly, Donnie died? He's not very good at it. Jeff, he was, have you seen Jeff Bridges? He's, he's a big not dude. Not Jeff Bridges. Not, no, no, but I'm just saying physically. He's have actually, you, I'm saying he's he's big, sure. tall, and wide. Have you seen you know. Jason Mewes get into a fight? Because I have, and it's oh, scary. Okay, actually, you know what I thought? Okay, the, go, jersey, the jersey comes out real quick for Jay when right, he needs cool. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so adding to that, could we throw? We could throw Silent no, Bob. Love, love, by the way, love you, Jay. I haven't seen you get into a fight. I saw you get mad at someone once on the set, oh. but it was, it was justified. It, if, oh. if we threw Silent Bob he's in, the, he's and the then silent we threw guy, Walter no, right? in, <laughs> he's the one who doesn't talk, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Go on. If, if we threw Silent Bob in, and then we threw Walter in on the Lebowski. Big Lebowski. Lebowski. Oh, Walter yeah. with Walter, Lebowski. Walter, yeah. Walter, Walter is the thrower. Walter would again, do it. Silent Bob ain't a fucking fighter. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Walter's a Vietnam vet. Uh, hold on, I'm going to point out that Silent Bob did throw two angels from a train once, and that's that's, that's something. True. That's true. <laughs> and they 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 battled demons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like little demons. 
I'm still I'm gonna go Walter. Yeah, no, you still no, go no, Walter. No, yeah. yeah, no. Walter could battle demons. <laughs> yeah. And right. Walter could throw Walter could throw lots of angels Walter from Walter probably Trindles. does battle demons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'll go Jay and Bob over like Laurel and Hardy. They'd kill those old fucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be like, Hello, my ba-. I don't even know what they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My <laughs> assumption was they'd who's go, on fir- who's on first? Who's on first? Yeah. And hello, my baby, <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Camp Time River and then <laughs> Camp Town River. You know, old stuff. <laughs> That's I think Abbott I said Costello. Camp, Camp Time River, I said. <laughs> Laurel and Costello. Yeah, Laurel and Costello. <laughs> Is that what he said? No, Abbott, no, no. Uh, Abbott and Hardy. <laughs> Abbott and Hardy? <laughs> no. Is this the honeymooners we're talking about? No, no, no. Yes, 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 we are. Never mind. It. Yeah, no, it's I love let's Lucy. Let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> right. One of these days. <laughs> Bang. Zoom. Right to yeah, Mercury. Yeah. He's gonna punch her in the face. <laughs> Do you guys remember uh, that's my bush? Yes, the very exactly, short yeah. Trey Parker Metz yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. One of the recurring catchphrases was George Bush would go, "Laura, one of these days, I'm gonna punch you in your face." <laughs> it's like, just like just not beating around the bush. Spelled it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, literally beating on the bush, right? Nice, 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 nice. nice. Uh, how about Han Solo versus Indiana Jones? Uh, oh. wow! Straight, straight up fist fight. Open field, like in your backyard right now. Open field, no weapons. Han Solo. He's yeah. a fucking college professor. No, Han Solo is... No, no, no. no, 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 no Indian. Indian. Is, uh, yeah. Han Solo is like a, uh, like a smuggler and like gets yeah, into yeah. fights. Yeah, yeah. Han, I go Han. Easy. Yeah, I think he's scrappier. I got to go Indiana Jones. Why? Because think about how because many Indiana Jones. <laughs> how many fist fights did you actually see Han Solo get True. into? True, true. How many fist fights did you see Indy get into? True. Numerous ones. Yeah, I mean, but which one did the Kessel run in uh, yeah, but that's 14 parsecs? You said bare fist fight. No, I know, I know. And no, I, I, I think I have a feeling like Han Solo like, probably like, I still grew, think Han grew is up. trained somehow. He can fight. Either trained. Like, you either had not, to fight. Even then, I think, I think he was probably He's a, a smuggler. I think he was a scrappy orphan. Yeah, you had to fight. As he opposed to a, an, ar- an archaeologist. You're you're assuming that stuff. And No, and, I know. that. Well, that's what yeah. we're doing right now. <laughs> we saw it. Yeah, but we're all just assuming stuff. Right from what now. we've seen, <laughs> no, we're not what? assuming extended universe. Han but Solo no, grew no, up no, no. Han Solo grew up an orphan and like was destitute and like no, fought. That, that's EU. And that's EU stuff. I said it's extended universe. Yeah, yeah, well, it may or may not exist anymore. But even. on the same front, like we've seen what Young Indy is like, and he's like fucking doing Greek lessons. Yeah, but I was, but I, I see what uh, where you, Stu's going though. You see, how many fist fights? What have a you, looker though, am I right, guys? How many fist fights have you seen Han Solo in compared to how many fist fights you've seen Indiana Jones in? Sure. And Indiana have you, Jones have you, have always you seems ever to win. Se- have you ever seen Han Solo in a fist fight? Yes. He punches that one guy in the Death Star in the first movie. The guy behind the desk. Like the, when they walk up, Han just fucking knocks him out with one punch. There you go. Okay, yeah, okay. He clocks okay. him. Yeah, he, he literally he does, he does, him. He does yeah, clock. Yeah, yeah. Wait, no, but he kind of just says, he's, no, he says something. Doesn't he shoot him? No, I thought he, he shot him. That's what I mean. No, he shoots, the, he shoots the, the radio. But... Shoots the radio. He punches that guy in the head, I think. No, 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 no. no. Chewie does. Chewie does. See, Han Solo's see, thing you is definitely Chewie see it, but is his that's muscle. What I mean. the, the, yeah, you see Indiana Jones in fist fights all the time. Yeah, but yeah. Sala is Indy's muscle. No, he is definitely not. Sala is, yeah. Dude, okay, first Sala's of all... Sala's his finder in his muscle. Sala fucking tosses shit down. John Reese Gimli's fucking John Reese Davies is like a big dude. When did Sala no, think get John in... Connery. Yeah, when did <laughs> no, okay, Sala okay, get okay, into okay. a fight? Sala gets into fights in both Raider, Raiders and Because I can Crusade. tell you, I can tell you that Indy gets into a fist fight <laughs> when he goes up against the huge Nazi. The big Nazi, he right? Gets into, sure. He, he, he loses that fist fight, though, and wins only because the tank thing spins around and that mm-hmm. guy like chokes to death and falls off a mountain. Yeah, but he's a clever wow, you fighter, are, though. you are in... I'm way no, off. no, no, no. Wait, dude, okay. Oh, you're Raiders. The big dude gets chopped by the propeller oh, right. of the, the plane. plane. Yeah, Excuse me. Which is awesome. <laughs> I remember it was the turning thing, but yeah, he doesn't win that fist and, fight. And the guy with the Sultan sword, I remember there was that whole thing, and then and he, just shoots he just shoots him. Just shoots him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Question. How many fist fights do we see Indy lose in those movies? True, true. It, he always looks like he's in over his head, but he always ends up winning the fights. Through ingenuity, not through his fists. Doesn't so matter who doesn't would win matter. the fight. Okay, okay. Who would win <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck you guys, I'm so low. All right. No, no, uh, 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 no, 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 Indy. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, here's I was, one. Going, I was going Han before. Here's but, one for you guys. Uh, you know what? You, you swayed me. You swayed me. Uh, I'm going Indy. Here's one for you, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave out two of the choices because we all know they're not... They're not. It's Michelangelo versus Leonardo. I was thinking about that Donnie, stuff. Actually, I was Mikey, about that you know, uh, the, uh, you're, you, without question, I would say your best two fighters of the turtles are Mikey and, and Leo, or Raph and Leo. Excuse me, Raph and Leo. Yeah, Raph yeah, yeah. and Leo is what I was. Yeah, one hundred percent. Also, just based on their weapons, they can so, stab so is, people. So is the mm-hmm. question Raph versus Leo? Is the question okay, is Raph so versus Leo? Taking Michelangelo yeah. out of this. 
All right. Um, I've got my thoughts. Like, look, you. Well, Leonardo inst- does lead. Instinctively, yeah. Leo is the leader, right? Right. But Raph's got two, man. He does. He's, he's like dark, but yeah, he's yeah, always he, like probably punching stuff in the yeah, background. But, you know, the dark side always loses at the end. He and and I feel like because <laughs> of the fact that Leonardo is more disciplined. Yeah, I think he's. I think he'd win. Like, I don't think he'd be able also, to fight he, his Also, brother. his weapons are longer. Yeah, I was about to say he's got katana <laughs> versus don't, size. Yeah, I don't uh, think he would be able to fight his brother. In a way that Raph could turn on, Raph could turn okay, that I could off. See that. I, could, I could see that. Yeah, I yeah. think Leo is too noble to if be it, able to actually unleash on Raph. Where I think if you piss Raphael off enough, he would treat Leo just like he would treat anyone. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and no. regret it after. Look yeah, at me but, now, Dad. Know, 2020. <laughs> he George, right? I totally 20, George Lucas him. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I think if you break circle. it, if you break it down into like the id, super ego, all that bullshit, Raphael is pure fucking like rage, rage yeah. Yeah. versus Leo Zen. Yeah, but see, but Leo. Donnie no, smarts no. and Mikey's but, but, heart. But, but, but Leo's smarter and calmer. Like, you know, he actually might be able to devise a strategy. Plus, True. honestly, his weapons are better. But I think but I think Matt's got a point, which is no, that... I, no, I think he has, no, I think he has death, a total point. Raphael would definitely... He would not... I mean, Leo would stop. Back. Leo would pull back, pull short on really hurting his brother. Yeah, yeah, but no, I see him crying over like a, a defeated Raph going, "Don't make me do this," and he actually would do it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like Superman and Zod. Yeah, no, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> like, like, the, there'll be rain streaming down. Yeah, yeah. it'll be nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be on a rooftop in New York City. <laughs> don't make me do this. You're my brother. And then Raph will be just like, do it. And just do it. He'll do, well, he'll be like Anakin. He'll be like, I hate you. Yeah, 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 exactly. like, don't remind yeah. me of that, Anakin. <laughs> even, though, even though Leo is the leader, in my mind, I've always thought of Raphael as the muscle. Have you guys not been, has Raph not been that for you? Uh, it's always you know, been Leo yeah, is the uh, yeah. leader, Donnie is the brains, Mike is the heart, I, I, I and Raph is I, the I, tough. I think physically they're all the same, but yes, no, Raph is kind of the muscle. He's the brute. Well, in the, the new brute. in the new movies, like the live action ones with the Sheamus, which I love, by I, the way. I, I watched the first one. The second one is way better. It's got Bebop and Rocksteady and Krang, and it's cool. genuinely fun. Uh, Raph is the biggest, muscle-wise. Okay. He's bigger no, than I, the other three. I, I was I'm, I'm going off of the original movies. Of course. He's the cartoon even, or comics, like just in general. He's the dog you let off the leash kind of thing if you go to the cartoon like I didn't feel like they're all equal they're all the same fucking thing yeah and I didn't feel like Raphael had some anger issues and he was the tough one on the cartoon yeah of course he was you think so he had an attitude he was always sarcastic I didn't didn't really give him that he was angry no Raphael was crude but rude Right, yeah. like yeah. Angelo's a party dude. Yeah. yeah, like he's like he's the, he's the like <laughs> Raphael's the one you can't bring. Yeah, I remember the song. Case you in point, you can't bring this guy anywhere, Raphael. Right? You know, he he, he doesn't have any social niceties in him, man. Okay, all right. What do you got? What do you got? What's the next one? Oh, I don't know. You, how about okay? How about this? This will be great. We'll do, we'll do like three more, and we'll wind it down. Oh, we do three more because I definitely have a great one right okay, now. Hit me. Me versus Devin Sawa. <laughs> I was going to do that one, but I just thought, you know you are the Devin Sawa of Macaulay Culkin. Uh, That's true. And and, 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 uh, uh, Devin Devin Sawa is the Australia of America. We could probably... (laughs) Sorry, Australia. Again, we love you, Australia. You got some shit to work out. Why do you always apologize to them? (laughs) Because we made fun of them like in the first five minutes. No, no, no. I know that you made fun of them in the first five minutes, but why do you feel the need to apologize? They're not over it. They're sensitive. (laughs) Um, uh, The funny thing about this Devin Sawa thing is we can maybe make this happen in real life. Oh my gosh. For like a charity. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, yeah, let's have a charity fight. Celebrity Devin Sawa. death match. Yeah, yeah, no. me, seen... me, me, Devin Sawa, and Mason Gandalf hey in a three way fight. <laughs> I'll just say this. Have you seen what current Devin, Dave Devin Sawa looks like? No. Dude, scraggly. I don't know. Dude, seen right. some years. God bless him. I, Plus, he's got some. He's so got have some, I. I've got seen some, some size years. on him. Plus, Max just yeah, got oh, Did you say Max... size? <laughs> like, 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 like Raphael size? <laughs> yeah, <That's>... exactly. <laughs> that kind of size. <laughs> Max just going to jerk off in the corner. So, <laughs> yeah, you know me. I'm just, just going to go right to the corner. Yeah. Just jerk off. I think off he would win that. And probably. go look at me yeah, now, yeah, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> it's whoever leaves first in that situation. <laughs> and, and then just like, just wait for the 20 minutes to show up. Devin Sawa taps out. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm not staying for this. <laughs> I, I just, I just Uber eats 20, 20 little people with long sticks. So just give me a minute. <laughs> No, not little people. Come on, I, I love you guys. <laughs> but for real, though, uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah, uh, whatever. I fight dirty. <laughs> so you're, I, you're, I, you're, I give it to me. <laughs> you're creating the scenario and then giving it to you. Yep, yep. I, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can take Devin Sawa. You basically just wanted to tell us you could beat up Devin Sawa. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. That was that was the whole point. That's why, that's why I was like, wait, 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 guys. I got one. 
<laughs> That's the whole point of this podcast. <laughs> yeah, that was all right, an end of podcast. We're never doing another episode again. <laughs> <laughs> all I wanted to do was tell Devin so I could, I could totally take it. Let's, let's do a couple more. What do you got? Still? Okay, so I, I'm going to go off of something I did before. You guys, you guys didn't answer. You guys both. <laughs> I did. I said he had size on him. That was my nice way of saying Devin Sawa. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to be mean to you, Mac. Yeah, oh, buddy, we're, we're your friends. <laughs> so I'm the only one who voted for me. Okay, got you. Cool, <laughs> Warren. Uh, what is the Warren get on the thing? Twitter? Yeah, I yeah. Mean, what do you? Think think Warren who would win in a fight Mac or Mac Devin, Devin Sawa. Sawa look up Devin <laughs> Sawa right now he looks like a big dude I don't know the guy but like and I know Mac fights dirty and I've seen I've actually seen Mac struggle and he, the dude can mess some people Wait, up struggle struggle yeah 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 do you mean like like tussle Your bachelor party. You, you, you mean being held down by yeah. other people like I yeah. don't know what that means like I, at, at at your bachelor oh, yeah, party, oh, yeah, 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 you were yeah, like, yeah. "I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this." And you had like, <laughs> <laughs> "Hold on, don't Wait, even, don't get even get married." Hold on, have the bachelor party. Have the it, bachelor was, party. It, was, it was during the bachelor party, and at one point, I was held down by a couple of people in me, like saying, "I don't want to do this. I don't know whatever was coming up next." <laughs> yeah, they blindfolded me and held me down and oh, said, no. "And I said, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this." And you started yeah. bucking on them, and I straight yep, up, I saw a guy bigger dudes <laughs> take on about six dudes by himself <laughs> and what frightened me was he was actually appearing to be winning yeah, yeah, he, or no, yeah. getting up i mean i was like, oh yeah no i'm uh you're know. like throw in four more guys on I know. I'm, I'm, I'm skinny but i'm i'm firm yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> amazing <laughs> so i was gonna say so uh as as the warren knows one of my favorite holidays warren being... not the warren sorry it's, it's warren, singular though. sorry yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're talking to you baby yeah <laughs> Everyone is one Warren. We're only doing the show for Warren Beatty. <laughs> you never it. answer her calls. That's Seriously, why. tweet me back. You, you didn't see my DM? I've got, I've got a Bullworth Pagemaster fanfic I need to get off the ground. <laughs> Bullworth. Jesus. Um, I, I am a, a fan of President's Day. That's one of my favorite holidays. And I would love to see... George Washington in his prime versus Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. In his Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln's got like a f- two he's, feet on him. He's in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Abraham Lincoln's like six foot eight and was a bare knuckle boxer. Yeah, no, no, he's a, he was a wrestler. He's actually yeah. in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. No, he actually used to like wrestle. Like, and he ex- fought ex- vampires. Okay, I get that. But, you know, George was, you know, a general. and he, Who was like rotting from the inside out and had like, do you know how they say? Wooden teeth. No, you know, okay. Died, so I wrote, yeah, a, yeah. I, I, had a, I wrote a script in the last couple of years about this and I did some research. His teeth weren't. Yes, they weren't made of wood. George but they Washington were gross. had sets of wooden teeth, but he also had sets of, of teeth that included elephant other ivory mm-hmm. and other humans' teeth. More often than wood, he wore dentures that were made of of other people's teeth. Yeah, no, I'm 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 going to I'm general going to horror right mouth. So the guy had a bad dental hygienist. Don't give him a hard time. Yeah, Abe Lincoln was like a strapping fucking man, and, and he used to fight vampires apparently. Remove, which <laughs> come stop it, Stu. That was a movie. Yeah, that's too what? Su- <laughs> too soon. It's too soon. <laughs> and it was a movie. Fair no, enough. dude was like a boxer or a wrestler. No, he was a wrestler. He was he a grappler. Go. He was yeah, a, he, he was, was a grappler. Really? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was like well, a, a, stri- he... a strike. Uh, I'm not strike. What's the uh, honestly? Catch- Catch of catch, uh, catch, uh, catch, catch, catch of catch yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, um, no, honestly, I, I, I think Abraham Lincoln would probably win in a battle I royal. Think Abraham Lincoln would beat most of the people we've mentioned tonight. Yeah, and that's what okay. I mean. No, of all presidents, he's actually he would win a battle royal, like for of sure. Every president, yes, he would beat every other president. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we Teddy have Trump, Ted, <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, well, uh, you know, honestly, I think it was like a rider, like, dude, you're, who like went no, ahead and invaded asked, by himself. Honestly, yeah, oh. and then twenty years later, when he was a fat fucking president, oh. I, no, honestly, I said in his prime. I'm here's what I'm seeing. I'm still saying he had a gun. No, Lincoln no. just fucking chops. Sh- I'm seeing shit it. up. I'm seeing it. it's Abraham Lincoln, like you know, shirtless, heaving, maybe sweating, just kind of suspenders, and, and then you got then you got Teddy Roosevelt, like, and one of them's like probably missing an eye. You know, they're both bleeding from the mouth, kind of thing. Yeah, and kind of like, it's just me and you now. You know, and just like the rest of the presidents or. <laughs> All, we like, kicked Van all, Buren's ass. All like, ejected from the ring already. You know what I mean? And the whole crowd is buzzing and the lights are hitting them and it's all glistening off their sweat. And it's just Teddy Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln. I see it. Yeah. So so anyway, here, there's, here's my pitch. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, what, you know what? Here's what happened. No, get, you know what? I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> I'll tell you oh, what. I'm here's so excited to see where my this pre- is going. Pre- President Battle Royal. <laughs> Here's my bet. Then the weapons are introduced. <laughs> Lincoln wins, as he would, as we're yeah, saying. Lincoln will okay. win. And then... From the crowd, John Wilkes Booth. Boom. 
<laughs> Heel turn. Heel turn. Sets up the next pay per view. John Wilkes Booth versus George Washington, who's avenging his now dead friend. Boom. Wow. You're just describing, like, yeah, like SummerSlam. We're the new booking committee. <laughs> yeah. This is, I'm, you know what? You, 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 you had me at Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, here's George Washington's teeth, by the way. Yeah, oh, buddy. gosh. Yeah. Ooh. President Horror Mouth. That's, that's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, just one good suck in the jaw. Warren, we, uh, we'll put up a picture uh, on our Twitter feed at Bunny Ears pod of uh, good old G-dubs uh, teeth. They ain't great looking. Yeah, you know, I mean, whatever. It's Listen, he did, you know, he was a president and he shit in a bucket. Look, we, so, like, we, I mean, like, you know, like he, like, he, he was doing the best I that just he could. Like, I just, <laughs> like, I just, like, in 2017, we give Anna Paquin shit for her teeth and look what was going on back then. Oh, God bless her. <laughs> Oh Jesus! All right, uh, let's let's do uh, let's do one more to round it out. Jesus, no, no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's on you, Jesus man. Versus us, guess what? We won. <laughs> Pretty sure. I think we can take him. Actually, I guess what? We are you're talking about us the, three. Yeah, no, we're no, talking, no, about, yeah, no, talking no, about the tribe. <laughs> Honestly, Hogan could take us. Been there, done that. <laughs> Been there, done that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, no. Ho- Hogan could totally take us. Guess what? Jesus' weakness was <laughs> getting crucified. <laughs> Jesus versus Hulk Hogan and, and, and 20 little people with long sticks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, let's, let's finish out strong. Let's, uh, let's, let's do it up. Come on, guys. One more. Take us home. Okay. Um, uh, the, <laughs> the cast of Saved by the Bell. In it. I love this already. <laughs> All right. Good. Versus a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Man, I'll uh, give A.C. Slater alone that Bengal. Uh, versus Mike Tyson. And I'm talking the whole cast. Okay. okay. Even building. It's like 12, it's like 12 people then. Like, yeah, like mean, Zach's parents. Uh, 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 yeah, no, you can even have Violet. Like, okay. You know, yeah, yeah. Violet like, Bakerstaff. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, tr- uh, what, what was the... Um, Tori. You have Tori. Tori, I was going to say. Can, Tori. can we bring in Zeke from uh, from Miss Bliss? From, from Good Morning okay. Miss Bliss? Uh, uh, no. Because he was a boy. <laughs> I mean, no, you can we bring in that, the football need that RA from the college years? Because that dude was like, like an actual yeah, NFL Mike. player. Yeah. How about this? Anyone who is a regular cast member or someone who is reoccurring. Oh, so SNL. That's guess. like 30 people. But no, no, because there, there were lots of guests. Okay, right. So, so, talking about so no, you can't have Jimmy watch Fallon. The, watch this, yeah, guys. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Even with this alone, Zach Kelly, Screech, mm-hmm. Lisa, mm-hmm. Uh, Slater. Mm-hmm. That's Jesse. five. Jesse. That's six people yeah. versus Mike Tyson. A bunch of teenagers. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like it's the whole just, tiger I'm, I'm thing. A, a bunch of skinny He can only teenagers. punch have so many people at once. True. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then you just come up yes. and shiv him with yeah. a knife you stole from the Max. No, no, I'm talking about like literally like in you your... do get to use Max, and Max yeah, does Ma- have Max magic. Max can do magic. Ed Alfonso. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you guys are welcome. Your shout out to Ed Alfonso. <laughs> um, Jesus. Uh, uh, no, I mean I, I think Tyson's got this. Are you kidding me? What? I guess yeah. like eight adults. Yeah. No, no, no. Six teenagers. <laughs> but, they're not like, <laughs> but they were and, like thirteen. And, 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 and two little adults, like, and I'm telling you, drop you in, in the backyard right there, and just said like round one, fight, and they just started fighting. So let me ask you, you a question: me? How you're, would they how how would they take them down? You're you're a big Saved by the Bell guy. I just want to I, I just want to clarify. No, I've never seen it. I've never seen it before in my life. <laughs> you said reoccurring characters. Now, did, so do Zach's parents count? No, I'm telling you, because uh, 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 I don't think they were played by the same actors anyway. Aha, uh-huh, interesting. Okay, and it's part of the next, drinking game. Here's, also, here's yes. my next question for you. Uh, Colonel Slater, does he come back for more than one episode? Nope. nope. Interesting. Mm. All right, so Colonel Slater's out. Yep. All right. Neither is fake uh, Zach's father. Remember that? Like we hired an actor to yep. play his father? Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> no, okay. No, he doesn't count either. And I think Lisa's <laughs> mom is only in one episode, <laughs> Dr. Turtle. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so. Because that's when she overspent on her credit card. I know. Oh, no, I was thinking about the one where she's in the hos- where Zach's in the hospital. And you meet Lisa's mom? Yeah. Yeah, because oh, she's a doctor. Because she's yeah, a doctor and Zach yeah. breaks his oh, leg think, no, because uh, okay. building. Because I thought you were talking about his fa- her father. Her father is. Uh, right, uh, right. He disciplines only the, her yeah. about the credit card. Right. Mm-hmm. So wow. the answer is I'm going to say. Mike Tyson. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say on Tyson. nine people versus Mike Tyson win. Well, also because oh, you know, just, Tyson's so, still around and I'm he could kick our asses if we don't. Who's not around from Saved Mike Tyson right now? Not the characters. Oh, you gave me like, oh, dude, come on. That's sensitive. They're all dead. They all died in that. Plane crash last Mike year. Tyson now would win, let alone Mike Tyson in his peak. Have you like, seen Lark Voorhees looks like nowadays? She looks crazy, man. I know, I know. God, I, bet, I bet she goes God, straight God, for, God, like God, the jugular. God, I mean, God, Dustin God, Diamond's God. getting some prison time, so maybe, you know. Hey, <laughs> Dustin Diamond's already killed someone. We should, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just stabbed I him. I forgot just about stabbed that. Him. Yeah. We know he's a fighter. Guy can <laughs> scrap. 
but but Tyson's been in jail also. Yeah, did, so. did, didn't didn't he? Yeah, did, but did, not did, for fighting. That was for for didn't something he else. Hor- didn't, didn't he beat Horseshack in Celebrity Boxing? Yeah, he did. I, yeah. And maybe Danny Bonaducci. Uh, no, Bonaducci, Bonaducci was like the good one. He was good at it, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Bonaducci actually. Yeah, no, you can go. I think Danny Bonaducci can probably take all three of us. People are gonna be so surprised <laughs> when we bring that back. He's in the, the first match is you versus Devin Sawa. He's, he's the Hulk Hogan. <laughs> he's the Hulk Hogan of Danny Bonaducci's. And we all know Hulk Hogan is the Devin Sawa. <laughs> <laughs> People who say the N word sometimes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Love you, Hulkster. Love you, Hulky. <laughs> I like you. Uh, all right, that's a good enough note to wrap it up on. <laughs> yeah, we're all horrible people. Look, if you're look, still look, listening. Macaulay yeah. Hulkin. Yeah. Macaulay Hulkin said that. Uh, guys, thank you for, for embarking yeah. on another adventure with thanks, us. Thanks, uh, the Warren. Same same <laughs> bunny ears time, same bunny ears place. Always check yeah. with him with us. Um, If you want to... Uh, Check in with the show. Interact with us. We are on Twitter at Bunny Ears Pod, and our good friend McClarkey over here jumps on every now and again. Uh, Pokey McCulkin. Email the show at uh, BunnyEarsPod at gmail.com. If you want to hit me up, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Camel Toad. All right, here we go. We are also on Instagram at Bunny Ears Podcast. Uh, check out BunnyEars.com. It's live. There's articles every day. Go to YouTube. Uh, we're on there at Bunny Ears and you can call the show at any time and leave us a voicemail. We might play it, and that number is 845-E-Z-E-Hoax, 845-393-4629. Oh, yeah, also, Max on social media now. Surprise, uh, he's on Twitter at Incredible Colk, and he's on Instagram at Colkamania. Uh, I think that's everything. I hope that's everything. Uh, bunny ears. Stu, your name is Stuart P. Miller. You're from Columbus, uh, Ohio. Grand Grand Rapids? No, you said Granville. Cause Cause Granville. Whatever. Granville, Ohio. There you go. I was going to say, just to, go back I'm to the gonna... start and re- 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 listen to the entire podcast. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> Darn it. I'm just going to have to What's rename myself. What's the last myself. three digits of your social? Not the, whole, <laughs> not the whole thing. Just the last three digits. And they asked for four digits, so that's not going to help honestly, anyone. Dude, right, I, right. Honestly, can I see your credit card real quick? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Uh, so that's where we catch up with you. <laughs> on my credit card. That's okay, where you catch, catch up with Stu on his credit card. And um, <laughs> as always, we might have a website to promote, and if we do, it's... Bunnyears.com. Clown, do you remember that SNL sketch? Clown penis dot fart. <laughs> they were like, we're an investment company, and we relate to the internet game, so we got the only website that was available to us. Welcome to Clown Penis dot fart, and it was like a high end law firm, but they they missed out on every URL, so they had to go with Clown Penis dot fart. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Oh, those snow boys. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just uh, just keep supporting. Yeah. yeah, just listen to our stuff if you want to. It's we, cool. Yeah, in whatever form <laughs> Bunny Ears takes. Yeah, and, do uh, or do not. There is no try. Yeah, you guys know the deal. And, and uh, in the meantime, uh, you know, uh, try not to suck too many dicks. And, and if you do, send some pics to Stuart P. Miller from Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> On all of his social Sexy. media accounts. <laughs> Bye. Peace. Doodles. So good. Find me, gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. Hey guys, it's uh, Frank Warren again with another random fact. This one is actually kind of pretty. They say that uh, because of the atmosphere on Mars, a sunset on Mars is actually blue. I think I'd like to see that. That sounds very pretty. All right. Later, Warren. What's up, guys? Calling from Canada. Just wanted to let you know that your podcast is pretty fucking rad. Really appreciate it. Uh, Also, cannot hear the word Warren without thinking about Watership Down. And that is who I imagine listens to your podcast other than me. Uh, have a great day, Sussex. Fuck you. Woohoo! A Bunny Ears LLC production. You are freaking lumberjack!